Welcome back, this is John Locke and today I'm answering a viewer question that I saw in a Facebook group. Uh, this question said, hey, we're using SEMrush. Uh, some people say SEMrush, that is the SEO tool. Uh, but it flagged our logo area is having uh, spammy anchor text. Now, uh, what I think that they're talking about is um, a site-wide um, uh, link with the specific words that their their keyword is like a money keyword uh, what they're trying to sell uh, and I think this is from I wasn't super clear entirely but it sounds like it was from the alt uh, text the alt attribute of that image so the logo image has the alt um, text attribute and when there's an image link on a website uh, the alt text is the anchor text. Now the anchor text is the words inside a link. And Google, um, or at least a lot of people believe that if you have uh, too many um, links with the exact keyword match out there on the web, then that's a bad thing. Well, this is very interesting because this happened on uh, this person's site I, you know, look, Google knows that that's your logo. Uh, Google knows that uh, you're not trying to spam the search engines or trying to, you know, uh, <laughs> leverage your keywords. Google is a little bit more sophisticated than that. They're not, you know, clairvoyant, but they are a little bit more sophisticated than that. Um, it's not a penalty. It's not going to hurt you. It's you know you can have alt text in your logo. It's it, if it describes you know what you do or whatever. It's not going to be a penalty or anything like that. Uh, I want to talk about this. I talked about it a few months ago, but uh, some of the SEO tools and specifically SEM Rush. And I hate to beat down on SEM Rush. I'm sure they're fine, but I see a lot of people uh, using. SEO tools is kind of a, um, instead of basically talking to an SEO person, they're using SEO tools and they're following a lot of bad advice. And specifically, I don't know what it is, but SEM Rush, like their particular audits, so-called SEO audits, um, <laughs> uh, they give a lot of bad advice, like from, you know, disavowing all these toxic, toxic links out there. Um, which Google pretty much ignores anyway, or, or this, you know, case the saying that the, the anchor text in your logo is spammy. Um, I've seen a lot of people, uh, you know, take the advice of the SEM rush tools or other SEO tools out there that are telling them to do this or that. And it ends up doing more harm than good to their ranking because they're focusing on little things, uh, that, you know, by by doing all these things, they're really like, you know, potentially harming their site more than they are helping it. Now, the, the way that Google ranks sites in 2019, uh, to be very, very clear, if you have if you if you have a page that's matched up to a keyword and the people are able to do uh, com complete a task or get the information that that matches the search intent of the rest of the pattern. Uh, for example, um, if if someone's saying like hire at HVAC or something like that, um, they don't want to see like a big essay on HVAC repair. They want to hire a HVAC repair person. They want to be able to hire somebody. Uh, that sort of thing is what I'm talking about. Uh, you, you know, if your page matches the search intent, uh, if you if the site looks halfway decent, you have you know good content on there. And everybody thinks their content is good, so you you know get a second or third opinion on this. Um, and and if you have you know links coming into your site uh, from other sites uh, more than your other competitors, and from uh, you know reasonably um, connected, correlated, categorically related sites to yours, then that's uh, that's going to help you out. That's how Google basically ranks sites in 2019. Um, a lot of this advice, you know, disavow spammy links, um, it's just bad news. Uh, I hate to beat down on SEM Rush, but a lot of the advice that comes out of that tool is not that awesome. Um, it, you know, don't use a tool as a substitute.
for getting advice from someone who does it. Uh, I'm not saying go talk to me, just talk to somebody uh, that, that does this for a living and has uh, more than one site that they're, they're actually seeing this on. I think that's the biggest problem too is, is like when people are only doing SEO for like one or two sites, they don't really see patterns and the SEO tool is, you know, whatever, $100 a month or $200 a month and it's giving them advice and they can do it. Uh, but sometimes that advice is bad. Remember, it's automated. It's a tool. It doesn't, you know, there's some things that it doesn't really uh, think through and say like, hey, this is bad or this isn't bad or you can ignore this or don't ignore this. It's an automated tool and that means it, automated makes mistakes. Hate to break that to you, but um, anyway, that's my mini rant. Um, hope that makes sense. My name's John Locke. My business is Locked In Design and SEO. Here every day publishing videos. I'd love to see you subscribe. That's all I have for this video. Until next time, peace.